Hi, I'm Mike Zapsick from AMC's Comic Book Man. And this is Ming Chen, and you're listening to Creatures Questions. Hey, y'all, this is Lou Temple. You know me as Axel on The Walking Dead, and you're listening to Creech Questions. Keep tuning in. Follow me. Everybody out there, welcome to episode 47 of Creech Questions. I am your host, CJ Creech, and this is our holiday special. Now, in the background is the Irma and Louise song, East Virginia, with the added flair of a little bit of Santa's bells to ring us into this holiday weekend. You can find out more about the Irma and Louise and buy their music for your loved ones as a little last minute Christmas gift at their website, theirmalouise.ch. We've got two interviews for you today, but before we get into all of that, let's go ahead and get to our shout-outs. You give me a gift, bam! Thank you, note. You invite me somewhere, pow! RSVP. You do me a favor, wham! Favor returned. Do not test my politeness. The shout-outs today are going to be short and sweet. It's to the fans and listeners of the show. It's because of you all that this podcast has continued to grow. I've appreciated all of you, from those that listen in, those that send questions, and those that joined in on the fun, like with my special Bells of the Dead episode and my Walking Dead wrap-up segments. Now, this year has brought me some amazing things, and it's all because of you. The continued success and interest in this podcast My friendships with Eric Jensen, Jessica Blank, and Dave Sheridan, all of the Bells and Sonoya Pandas, including Samantha, Renee, Kylie, Sarah, Carrie, and so many others that I could continue naming them all night. It's because of all of you who support that continue to help our press outlet grow into other forms of entertainment. Uh, Within the past week, we have graciously been accepted to cover both Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, New York, New Jersey, and Days of the Dead Atlanta as press, and it's just the beginning of what's shaping up to be a very busy 2016. So thank you, sincerely, uh, from the bottom of my heart, you guys rock. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, or if you celebrate something else, a Happy Holidays. As long as you get to spend time with your family, that's really all that matters in the end. But it's in this holiday spirit that uh, we've and and, and I've decided to give back. And we're going to do so on the Creature Creator Productions Facebook page on Christmas Day. One listener out there who may be down in the dumps or needs a boost will get a video message of a lifetime and a really cool super secret gift. Now... The gift was only made possible through the connections I have been able to make due to all of you out there. So not only am I grateful for you, uh, but this recipient will be grateful as well. Now with that being said, that is going to wrap everything up for the shout out this week. But before we start with our interviews, I just want to touch on the podcast real quick. As we've talked about before, actor Dave Sheridan is joining the podcast as our co-host the first week of January. Now, with that being said, Creech Questions isn't really an accurate description of the podcast anymore. So today, on this podcast, I want to reveal the official name of what Creech Questions is becoming. The Dave and Creech Show. Now, I'd also like to reveal, with the name changes comes new logos, and on that end, we are not going to disappoint all of you out there. Not only is our talented graphic artist and my personal good friend, Tanya Threlkel, designing a new logo for us, but we will also have yet another logo being designed by one of the top artists out there, Scott Straka. Now, it seems like forever I've been talking about the big changes going on in the podcast, and finally, it's getting real close to the time they go in effect. I think you're going to love this podcast even more. And I can't wait for you all to hear the Dave and Creed show for the first time. Now let's return to the present and check out our interview with Ming Chen and Mike Zapsik, master podcaster extraordinaires and stars of the hit AMC reality show, Comic Book Men. Hey everybody, welcome back to Creech Questions. I am here with Mike Zapsik and Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. How are y'all guys doing today? What's going on, man? It's good to see you. It's good to see you as well. It's Sunday. We're doing great. 
How has it been uh, all three days at Walker Soccer Con so far? Fantastic. The fans are, are out in force. I mean, take a look around you. It's insanity down here. Yeah, it is. Uh, this looks like, um, remember those Cabbage Patch dolls back in the 80s? Like all those moms fighting over dolls. It's, it's kind of like that. It's just, Except they're fighting over Ming Chen now. Yeah, so, now they fight I mean, over yeah. me, so it's cool. All right, I have to ask, uh, wh whose idea was it for the Get Your Picture with Bargain Basement Stephen Young? I guess that would be me. I didn't write that, but I think Mike did. So he's, he's a clever one, obviously. What can I say? He even got the green balloon. It's pretty yeah. amazing. Thank you. Also, uh, one of the questions I have to ask is, I noticed you guys get to travel a lot at various conventions, but you also work at the Stash. H how is it balancing those schedules out? Uh, Walt Flanagan hates my guts, uh, but, you know, he, he reaps some of the benefits. We get a lot of people going down there now, so it's, it's good. Yeah, and uh, you know, weekends on the weekdays I'm still there, so I I I, uh, I don't like to sit still. I like to just I don't I just can't sit. I no, just can't, he can't. He can't, can't stand still. He's all around the place. Yeah, so I lo so I love it. Awesome. And uh, I do want to switch gears and ask you a little pop culture stuff. Sure. Um, I know they just recently released the Batman vs Superman, the newest trailer. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Um, I it's amazing, right? And if it's not like a dream sequence, which somebody said, oh, it's a dream sequence, which pissed me off. Uh, if it's not, I think there's a little mind control going on. Um, that's a spoiler for all you out there, but it looks kick-ass, doesn't it? And uh, I, I think Affleck nails it. And uh, to all those, those people who are like, Affleck sucks, eat it. And uh, yeah, I, I like Zack Snyder. I think it looks amazing. I'm a little concerned that maybe they're cramming too many characters into one movie. That'll remain to be seen, but you know, Doomsday, Lex Luthor, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Super, it's a lot. It's a lot for, uh, what is it, a two hour movie? It's probably going to be about two and a half hours, but still, it's, it's. I, I, I go back to Spider-Man 3, I was like, man, they crammed a lot of people yeah, don't on there. Yeah, Spider-Man 3 it, on it us. Didn't work, so. I would suck. Yeah. Now, speaking of Batman vs. Superman, there's another huge comic book movie coming out next year with Civil War. Uh, which one are you more excited to see? I, I, I mean, it's got to be Batman and Superman, just because that's the one we've been waiting to see. I never you know, I never thought I'd see that battle on screen, and so now we finally get it. Like, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty amazing. Well, why do I have to choose? I'm not going to. So, I'm excited for both of them. I, I'm excited for uh, Force Awakens in two weeks. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a great time to be a geek. Oh, yes, definitely. And with that, we are going to end the interview. So thank you guys for agreeing to do an interview. Uh, you can check out Comic Book Man. Uh, I know they moved it because of Into the Badlands. Is it yeah. past midnight uh, now? No, now uh, we'll be back uh, when Walking Dead comes back on February 14th. Happy uh, Valentine's awesome. Day. Check them out. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Creature of the Man. Thank you, sir. Welcome back, guys. Now, if you want to find out more about Ming or Mike, make sure you check out their Facebook Comic Book Man pages or give them a follow on Twitter. Mike is at Michael Zapsik and Ming is at Ming Chin 37. Now these guys are really great and they are more than welcome to come on the podcast at any time as they are personally and also consistently one of my favorite guests. I guess you could technically say two of my favorite guests, but I also want to congratulate them both on reaching a huge milestone in podcasting as they just celebrated releasing episode 200 of their podcast i sell comics it's an amazing accomplishment to how hardworking and dedicated these guys are in their passion i can only one day hope to continue to follow in their footsteps in this amazing path that they've been blazing now coming up next is our new interview with actor lou temple Lou was actually one of the first actors to be on our podcast and also have one of the first multi-part episodes. In his first podcast, we talked a lot about the goings-on behind the scenes of movies that he's been in, like The Devil's Rejects and Rob Zombie's Halloween, to TV shows like The Walking Dead. He shared some funny stories from filming The Walking Dead and even talked about a scene that was filmed but never released from Season 3 that featured a fight between Rick and Lou's character, Axel. Now you can listen to those stories and more on Lou's first podcast. And in order to listen to them, all you got to do is scroll through our previous episodes and find episodes two and three. Now, here is our interview with Lou from Walker Stalker Con, New York, New Jersey. 
Hey everybody, welcome back to Creech Questions. I am here with Lou Temple. How are you doing today, Lou? Oh, fantastic. Here we are in uh, New Jersey, in the Meadowlands out here, Secaucus, which is just across the river from New York City, for the Walker Stalker, Northeast style, and it's holiday season, and everybody's in a good mood, and we've had a really good show. It's been fantastic. Oh, yes, sir. It definitely has. And if you haven't, you should definitely come to one of these events. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, how many of these events have you been to? Well, I try to do as many of the Walker Stalkers specifically because it, it's it's about you know the cast of The Walking Dead. It's about the audience of The Walking Dead, and so it um, it's very familial. So I would say I've done ten of these this year, all throughout the nation, and uh, this this wraps up this this year. But I'll be out again next season doing this. So it's been a lot of fun. They do a good show here. It's good for the it's it's good for everybody. And I know the last time we talked, you were about to head to, I believe it was Louisiana, to make a movie. Uh, that was about a year ago. Uh, what have you been up to since then? Well, I did make that movie. We're waiting for that to come out. That was Kidnap with Halle Berry. Uh, but I have a movie coming out, uh, actually, at the Sundance Film Festival by one Rob Zombie called 31. And um, if you like Devil's Rejects or anything Rob's done, you're going to uh, freak out about this. This is, this is pretty intense. And if you had to rate uh, 31 to the other Rob Zombie movies on the level of fun of making it, what would you rate it as? I would say based on how intense it was, it was probably the least fun, most gratifying. There just wasn't any... Uh, it, it, I think that there was a sense of accomplishment at what we were able to do, but it was in, just incredibly intense and volatile so I I don't think we had a lot of joy and 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 happy uh, touchy-feely the touchy-feely was 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 pretty uh, pretty violent so uh, I think it'll rate high with the fans oh yeah I mean Rob Zombie always does an amazing job and you're, you're an amazing actor an absolute oh, chameleon thank you um, and uh, last question is uh, you've been in, you were in The Walking Dead now you got to interact with, with uh, become friends with Vincent Ward. Yeah. Um, what? Who have been some of the other people you've loved to, to keep in contact with and develop friendships with from the cast? You know, almost all of them. What's happening now is as the cast has grown, um, there's there's people that that I don't know. Certainly wasn't on set with, and so uh, as uh, as we come to these events, I get to know people. Uh, like Corey Brill, who I've not had any time with on set, but I realize he becomes, it's, it's like this family reunion, and you have, um, you know, stepbrothers and sisters, siblings. Oh, your dad is my dad, just married to different moms. Uh, so I think that's great, and it, it's kind of the new group of people that I'm experiencing that's, that's been um, uh, really satisfying. But of course, you know, the... The, the mainstay of regulars, I, I love seeing Norman Reedus, I love seeing John Bernthal, uh, uh, Scott Wilson I love uh, hanging with always, Irony Singleton, just fantastic. Like you had mentioned, uh, Vincent Ward's one of my dearest. People often ask me, what did you get from The Walking Dead? Did you take a souvenir? I always say, like Vincent, uh, friendship, you know, friendship. Those, get, those people in my hearts and in my lives are, are kind of the most important thing that I took from, from the show. All right. Well, thank you again for doing this interview. And make sure you look for 31. And coming soon. And keep following Creech Questions. You follow me? Welcome back, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed both of those interviews. And I do want to apologize for this shorter episode today. But we are definitely in a crunch mode right now. I'm uh, trying to put the final touches on my newest documentary that is due for release this Friday. It's a really great look at professional wrestler Kevin Phoenix, and it's titled Phoenix Rising, the story of Kevin Phoenix. It's a great film, and it's only going to cost you 2 bucks to stream it or five fifty to download it on digital. I highly recommend you check it out when it comes out this Friday, and that's not just because I made it. It's truly an interesting film and gives you a great behind-the-scenes look at wrestling. Now, next week is the final week of Creech Questions before it becomes the Dave and Creech Show. 
So we're going to have a jam-packed episode to go out in style. We are going to deliver a preview of one of our new podcasts that will be joining up in our network next year, hosted by David Davidson, who you've heard on our Walker Stalker Con There and Back Again episodes of Preach Questions. Now in that segment, he'll be reviewing Star Wars Episode Eight: The Force Awakens, with both me and actor Eric Jensen. We'll also interview Kevin Phoenix about the documentary I just talked about. And to cap it all off, we'll be interviewing the awesome Seth Gillian, a.k.a. Father Gabriel, from AMC's The Walking Dead. Now, if you want to follow us, you can check us out on all of our official channels. Don't forget to give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions. Give us a follow on Twitter at CJCNOV88. Or you can also follow us on Tumblr and Instagram at Creech Creative. Now that's going to do it for this week. Hope you all have a wonderful and safe holidays. And we'll see you next week on Creech Questions. Hey y'all, this is Lou Temple. Greg Nicotero. Connie Moe. T Love. This is Eric Jensen. Emma Bell. Big Chad for Vince and Ward. Jeff Cobra. Jose Pablo Cantillo. Danny Robot. Lawrence Gilliard Jr. Esther Carbon. Harold Parano. Daniel Thomas May. Colin Moss. Sarah Wayne Kelly. Chad O. Coleman. And Mark J.B. Breaking Bad. Bates Montel. AMC's Comic Book Man. Ma. The Walking Dead, and you're listening to Creech. 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 Creech questions. You better listen up good or I'm coming get you. Hey everyone out there, this is CJ Creech, and you too can listen to our celebrity interviews on our podcast, Creech Questions. Check us out on CreechCreatorProductions.com and Facebook.com slash Productions. <laughs>